inna alhamdulillah nahmaduhu wa nasta'inu wa nu'minu bi wa natawakkal alayhi wa na'udhu billahi min shururi anfusina wa sayyiati a'malina man yahdihillahu fala mudilla lahu wa man yudlil fala hadiya lahu wa ashhadu an la ilaha illa allah wahdahu la sharika lahu wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh We give thanks to Almighty Allah over and over again The Lord of the world, the most gracious, most merciful We thank Him and we praise Him We seek refuge in Allah from the across shaitan And we seek refuge in Allah from the evil consequences of our deeds Whoever Allah has guided, there's none that can misguide. And whoever has gone astray, there's none that can bring back to the path of guidance except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon the best of all mankind, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his household and companions, and all believers from now till the day of judgment. Wabad once more assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Today is a very beautiful day, alhamdulillah, and we give who has spared our lives, who has made Ramadan to be the great leveler for everyone. Uh, I want to thank our Imam and all of the members of the mission board for you to know that we are all together, we all do this together. I may not be here every Sunday, but alhamdulillah, uh, I still learn a lot from the mission board. We still do a lot of things together. And I pray all metal will continue to support them, Allah will continue to honor them, Allah will continue to sustain them, Allah will continue to answer their prayers. It is uh, when prayers of the mission board are being answered that the followers will have that confidence that the prayers that they make for them will also be answered. And they say whoever points, whoever points one finger towards one person, the remaining fingers will also go to him. So all of you, our Imams, may Allah continue to bless you all. May Allah continue to support and sustain and preserve all of you. All of us who just said Ami now, may Allah make it for all of us too. Amen. The person who didn't say Ami before but just said it now, may Allah still grant the request for them too. Amen. The person with the loudest Amin, may Allah grant them more than all of us. Amen. Okay, what of me that's making the prayer, Uncle? <laughs> I just spotted one of my brothers here, one of my besties there, uh, Al Haji. Uh, let me not mention it yet because uh, I will still mention it as I'm going. May Almighty Allah continue to bless him for me. If you are looking for a gentleman, he's more of a gentleman than me. May Almighty Allah continue to support and sustain him. I'm going to guide him aright in all that he does. May Allah continue to elevate him. Warafana u makanan aliyah. Warafana u makanan aliyah. Allah Akbar. Now, that's um, Sheikh Abdullah. is the one that is sitting there. May Almighty Allah continue to bless him. Uh, he's supposed to be sitting here among the mission board, but he will just be hiding somewhere behind the Barakallah of Fiqh. Na eyi yawa a roju yin o amọ Olorun ba ni gbogbo yin a ki eyin na ni kiki ti alafia pe ko Olorun ko sale kun ore fun gbogbo eyin yawa ejo e sami e dada kile mo pe wa nbe ehe eyin ni Olorun ba bi sike gbogbo wa lai se eyin be yin awo ni wa nbi bayi te yo ba si nbe ni eyan mi lu mo wa na spot o ko ni mi lu mo wa na spot koda abi ta ba nsoro npa owo nkan kan le to re lo mi bo pe tori pe yin ya wa yin na mura en wa nkan kan 
gbogbo awon odo odimo ri won bayi awon odo la ngba won ba ti wa ti ba pe awon sisters ye no wa ni abi be go ni ma e ba ti ri won to kolon ko sale kun dada feyin sisters wa ateyin yawa mo pe bi won se pe ni yawa yen o ti ye yin dada aha yin no ni yawa eyin le npa mo eyin le nla mo enu ba gbo yuba dada bi mo tumo re ya ima Now, what we want to discuss about is not something that is alien to us. The topic is not new. Okay, yes. The, the topic is not new to all of us. They are the things we have all been hearing before. But you see, it makes sense when the mission board and the organizers should just come together and they say, okay, let's call this person because we don't see his face here every time. That may, maybe people will listen to being reminded of the things that they are supposed to have known already. There are many parents here. There are even grandpas here. Even my Elijah Musa, if you are there, very soon he will be a grandpa. So everybody will have an idea of matters of child upbringing, of matters of coping with today's children. And when we say today's children, these are the ones that are born or that were born into the internet. These are the ones who, the moment they were born like this, their photograph is already on the DP of their mother. That one will forward it to the aunt, and now forward it to their group. We just gave back to a bouncing baby boy, bouncing baby girl, help us pray for the baby. The baby is now up to one day old. The photograph of the baby is already everywhere. These are the babies that were born into the internet. The rest of us were BBCs, born before computer. The kind of experience that these young people have is not exactly like our own. Sometimes I wonder, how did we even survive when there was no telephone? Even those of us that are very young amongst you here, we didn't meet this telephone. And the big one that we met, it is just few people that used to have it scattered here and there. There was a time I, <laughs> this thing I want to tell you, don't tell anybody. It's only within that spot here. Can you come out of here? Come on, yeah. After I hear you call, you know. Eh, don't say call me Bushman. I went to Lagos that time, and the family that I went to visit, they had this telephone, this big one, the one you use your finger to turn it around. Eh, you know this thing, Alaji. Eh, eh, yes, you. So they used to use finger to turn it around, but whenever they were going out, there's one small padlock. They use it locking it. You remember that one too. Uh -huh. They now said, somebody is supposed to call. In case anybody calls, pick the phone and tell them to call back in one hour's time. That was the instruction. So grrr, the phone rang. I didn't know whether to pick it or not to pick it. But they already told me I should pick it. That was my first time of touching that type of phone. As I picked it like this, put in my head. Person say, hello, hello. Out of fear, I quickly put it back. <laughs> ah. So as I put it back, the owner of the house, maybe they were hearing the ringing. So that one came and said, hey, did you tell the person? I said, ah. Ah. Why didn't you tell the person? Eh, <laughs> I said, I didn't understand English. Because as I said then, I thought it's only English language that the telephone can understand. Uh -huh. And when this person said I should address them, he told me in Yoruba language that tell you come back to the so phone, we come quick pada. Toba to waka ti consistent, come quick me pada. That is the instruction, but I didn't know how to translate it in English so that the telephone can hear what I'm saying. Don't tell anybody this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, those of you that are laughing at me now, 
How old were you? Why are they not teaching you A for Apple in school? A for Apple. How old were you? They were just teaching us A for Apple. But we know ball, B for ball. But that Apple, below Golom, many of us have reached secondary school, even finished secondary school before we tasted Apple for the first time. So we are all BBCs, born before computer. There's no difference between us. But the children of nowadays, a very small child, if you give them your Android phone like this, they know where game is. Did you notice? I don't know how they, this is very tiny tongue like this. They will just be scrolling and scrolling like that. Before you know it, they have started playing. What are you doing, Grandpa? I'm, I'm, I'm playing games. How did you know where game is? Uh, I know now. Uh, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar Kabira. I do prefer long shot. I want more see in where the vow. I just show our dad I can't respect that hour. In town, one more. Book where call our more. Oh, bad, they be very more control. You see, more to more worry, more control. Java for our love. Then by our tara. Time she grab grab by a VHS. Time a Coke as a dicker. I want more dear. Look at that money. And don't forget me, sir. You want to see the car? Can you show me? One by one, you be pay. You pull a into one. La ilaha illallah. CD, fa. The same CD. The children don't even know anything about it. How much more cassette? You know this one that you use biro. Audio guy, you put biro. Then you begin to swing it. I must say, come. May Allah forgive all of us. Now you can imagine, just think about it. Those of us who grew with all of those things, and these children that are growing with all of these things, the way we were brought up may not be exactly the same way we are going to bring them up. If we didn't know before, we better know now. How many hours of TV were we watching? The TV NTA that will start by 4 p.m. They will close by, is it 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock? Uh -huh. Then you see all of this uh, line. Uh -huh. <laughs> then there's this English they will speak then. Though we didn't understand it too much then. Good night. That was all we knew. Then the thing will just go away. Till 4 o'clock the following day. Imagine those who grew up like that and the children who are growing up with 24 hours, even if it is 25 hours of TV. If care is not taken, even the TV, they don't even watch again. They are all attached to their phones. They are on TikTok, they are on Instagram, they are on Facebook, they are on YouTube. And there are many more they are on that even me, I don't know. So I want more money. You want to do all of, look for look for no. Then we can 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 no one. The bank boy bought on sorry see. A body professor go only two more. One is Beru. That is sorry. Say ni kaka. One boya. Allah Akbar. One boya. O kanjo ni. I'm young kong. I'm kong ni calligraphy, Islamic art. Obani bring the eraser. Come and clean this one. And draw another one. Obani, ah, doctor, it's not, it's not eraser. Only so, what is it? Only it is cleaner. Only can we be home, but say it, let me hear. Cleaner. Oh, what's that? The better from marijuana, if I. Only it's cleaner. How did you explain? Only our auntie told us it's cleaner. It's not eraser. Banto, more cow and so cool. We didn't know about that. But I'm not worried. I'm not worried. It's not correct. It's not eraser. It's cleaner. Say it. We need cleaner. She had a boy. I wonder if I want it. I need to solve. I'm not going to get it. We didn't have that audacity to talk when other people are talking. It meant to be seen, not to be heard when we are like them. But nowadays, they are bold. Uh, maybe Allah made them to be born with it. They have some inborn knowledge that you'll be wondering, how did you know? 
These children are very strange, I'm telling you. No matter how much you now try to protect them, inborn knowledge that they have, they have inborn talent that they have, and they have some understanding of the world that we may not be aware of. There are many things you think they don't know, but they actually know. There are many things that they notice, but you don't know that they have noticed it. And that is why we have to fear them. Let me use it that way. We have to be very cautious of these young children that are just coming up. I'm not talking about you grandpas, who your children are already big. And even as grandpa, you have your grandchildren that are just coming up. So the experiences are not too far. That of grandpa is even worse. Because at a point, they'll be telling you, grandpa, don't you know? You are supposed to hold the control like this. Press it now, press it like that. They'll be teaching you how to search for something on Netflix. Nobody knew what was Netflix. And they'll be telling you, ah, grandpa, you mean you have not watched it? You didn't watch the series? Which one is the series? But there's a good side. There's a bad side. For those who know how to utilize all of these things for the children of today. Which of them should we talk about first? Good side or bad side? Let me mention one of the bad sides. Thank you, Imam. Do you remember during the time of Firaun? When Firaun said male children should be killed? I think they were doing it. I'm not very sure. The Imams will put us through. One full year, they will kill all the male children. Another year, they will leave them alone. The ones they left alone are the ones that will become slaves tomorrow. So they are still keeping them to be slaves. Another year, all male children will be killed. That is how he was alternating it. Do you know why he was doing that? So that the ones he will kill, none of them, because they already told him. That's among these children of Bani Israel, amongst them are the ones that will topple your government. And no matter how brave, how strong a powerful person is in this world, he also has fear. The fear of Fana'a. The fear of coming to an end one day. The same thing with all rich people. They have that fear that this money will finish or myself I will finish. That thing is always there in their mind. So once in a while, Allah will you to pinch them, pinch them, so that they can respect Allah more. So Firaun has said they should be killing the male children so that they will not take over from him. And the ones that they spare, they will ensure that they deny them access to relevant information for development. So they will not be able to challenge the monarchy and the power of Firaun. That was then. Alasi did what he would do. Alasi brought Musa, and it's a very long story. But now, if Firaun were to come to the world today, do you know what Firaun would do to the children? He will not kill them. He will give them iPhone. He will order that they should buy iPhone for all of them. iPhone, Android phone, any type of phone that can browse. Firaun will say, distribute to all of the children, male and female. Why? Because Firaun knows that the more they get addicted to these telephones, the stupider they will become. The less intelligent they will become. The weaker their minds will become. The more distracted they are going to become. He knows they will grow to a certain age and they don't even understand anything about the world around them again. Firauna knows that he can only and always be posting something to them that's going to keep them busy. He will be forwarding some messages to them that will help in bringing down the IQ that they have. This is exactly what Firauna will have done and he will have still succeeded. The problem is, what of our own children? Are they supposed to be carried away by this thing? This, I'm telling you, all of you, you bear me witness. Those days, they used to teach us uh, counter. You uh, know, two times two for uh, this thing. Don't have been, don't have been tormenting your followers back and forth. 
times table, hey, two times two, one, two times two, four. That's how we were memorizing these things. But she man has all in here. Up till 11, everything now, one can do it, and do it, I'm a gen, I'm a gen. Teacher, I'm a show about it, I'm a show about it. I'm a show about it. I want to one more that I want to share cool sorry joko a ten monte genu a lenoro or a share but more going around once you've had a doubt. Hey, share the book, I should be one via Jawan. I'm a country in the brain one. Oh, my middle lay very low or in sipping nine times nine to more of eighty one. You come on phone and you more, you more tear, you more work at little. And you don't want to carry. The batting, the batting, Koja, pay two plus two. Totin Koja, two plus two, you pay two plus eight minus three. Ah, no, it's a Doria Runier. What you're more than we move? Allah, Hakba. One car, I'm more car, we one car, my car, test book, book, boy, I don't want to be a Joanne Luto, want to be a Joanne Luto, Luto long. But I want to see one little joke. Can we more? Because my wo, I want to more. Can we talk for one quick? I want money or joy. Land below one. Hey, the people I want to more. She will go phone. Tell me in tech. Tell me what I can hear. I want to more. You want to buy one tech? And to that Facebook, see le. And to that TikTok, see le. I want to do one the YouTube. I want more. I want more. My new addiction. Be long. Can you want? Could I didn't know what to say? Come on, let me move on. Danny by only your doom tomorrow. Oh, they could only be from the law. A man won't want to move if you phone by him. One day, the banic won't do who can we won't manly do who a more or more. I like you come or more. Very by any kilo one share bound. You can come on. You can come on. As often go for go about me for more any number me any cook with me. On a cony phone lower, I want to let me. Mobile interest, I cony phone lower. If you are doing ready or more, thirteen years, fourteen years. Cony phone, go let you watch it on a long day down ten years. Oh, fair, come back. We go a gem of one only cool. I want to wait because I shall not put you a little issue. Overlock one money. Would you like to read this one? Only I've read it already. Would you like to read this one? I read that one, but I didn't finish it. Mubani ko muwasili odo mubwa fila every me ho. Do mo iba ngri we. Te ba ri bo she ngri awo we ni nu ren dum. Mo ara awo mo ti o je ka mo pe a se lojo ola lele. Tun ba bi re character kan yo so pe awon ti ri ka ni nu be bye bye bye. So mo nka nu be no. O lo mo nka. Da ba tun ku awon kan da ba ko fun. Pelu a se Olorun. Ngba ti osun o fi dele. Only keep a barrel with me, pay on to parry on way and shake one more missy. A dark one more one mill low, a one more one mill low, and one shearing tawi. But to the pair will be gone back, I know, dear, I ride, pay, she been tabbing, she lamb on all my ship. I ride, or what I lay da, only pay. Why is she see? Cow and no more telling one cast in my tongue or son of a show. That these children we are able to develop their brains. This addiction to the social media, uh, in, in fact, all of you know now, TikTok, for instance. Long time before I started posting things on TikTok, because I believe it's all nonsense that people post there. Until when I saw some postings of uh, this, our friend, uh, some of these, our scholars that we hear of their names. And I felt, okay, let us keep posting, maybe. Some of our children will stumble on some of the things we post. It is then that I was taught by one of the children that you can search for the kind of things you want to be seen on your TikTok. And you can program it so that it's only those things that will be coming to your phone. But I went through and I saw that from other countries, their children are posting their scientific developments. This one will post a special recipe that they just discovered when they were cooking. I don't know, we'll, we'll post a certain formula that can be very useful in the chemistry lab. I don't know, we'll post a new furniture that he just designed. A furniture that is a bed and you can fold it to become a chair. 
What are our own children posting? Mujeri kondo ni oni omo lori lo mu lo ba se gba ya ti ta bai omo bi ni be awa lori ah awa lori mo fa mo da be gbo nko Sorry I just use the lori for example <laughs> I'm just appalled There are some of them they don't do anything they don't say anything they say they do skit they say they are influencers and somebody will just be dancing and you think that is an achievement. Something is wrong, go. Let us try and ensure that it's not our children that will be like those ones. There are many things with which we can encourage them. There are many things with which we can entice them. It is not that the internet world is not that it is utterly useless. But if you are not ready to follow your children to the extent that they can be able to identify what is good for them there, it's better to be on the safe side. In fact, our major role now as parents is to teach these children how to learn, to teach them where to source information, and to let knowledge be relevant in their lives. Whenever we make prayers in the house, or we wake up for tahajjud. Let us wake them now. Some of these children are going to Islamia already. Some of them have already memorized Juzu Amma. Abdul Wasi, as young as he is, make him to lead Shafi and Witri in your house. Shaki Rat or Fatima, as young as she is, tell her to give us Nasiha for five minutes in the house. If you don't create this, nobody's going to create it. Nobody will have time. If we say weekdays, they are very busy. What a weekend. Even the weekdays, every child should be at home between Maghrib and Isha. If they don't follow you to the masjid, at least when you come back from the masjid, let us do something for five or ten minutes before we go to sleep. It is when we begin to train them like this, that is when we can be able to make corrections. Any child... Uh, Wasu or Muhammad that knows he's going to do lecture for us for five minutes. At least it will take time to look at the Hadith book. And you guide them. You say, oh, yeah, look at this Hadith. Tell us about this topic. These are the things you can use. We should encourage them. When we do that one, they know the kind of persons they are. And they will not forget. From childhood, they will not forget. So let us try, parents. The children of nowadays, we have to understand that they are our legacy. And let me give you an example of this, how these children are, so that we understand very well. I will explain it, then I will reiterate in Yoruba language. Children are like winds. Please, the wind that is blowing, where is it coming from? Does anybody know? Where has it come from? You can feel the breeze blowing onto you. The fan is uh, going round and round, and it is blowing out some air. I remember somebody from my village some time ago, they said he went to where they were selling fan because of this heat. And uh, after haggling and paying for it, he said they should test it so that he would be sure that the fan was working. It was a standing fan. So as they plugged it and uh, pressed something for it to work, the fan was you know, moving very fast. Say, yeah, it's okay, it's okay, stop it, stop it. They said, ah, well, I just testing for you. He said, no, I don't want the wind to finish before I get home. If you know my village, you know what I'm talking about. He, he didn't want the wind to, he said, what you told Does it finish? Does the wind finish? It doesn't finish. The question is, where does it come from? I say, can anybody pinpoint for me? Where is this breeze? This where is it coming from? Sometimes it will come from a direction, right? Sometimes it will come from another direction. But where is the particular direction that it is coming from? That's question number one. Question number two. What is the color of the wind? Does it have any color? Does it have any particular color? Can we see the wind ordinarily? The same way the fish cannot see water, 
That same way we too, we cannot see the wind because we are inside the wind. We live and we thrive inside the wind. Now, this wind doesn't have any color. But what is the taste of the wind? What is the smell of the wind? The smell of the wind depends on the direction that it is coming from. If the wind should pass through a latrine, it is going to smell very, very awful, very offensive. If the wind should pass through a flower garden, it is going to smell very nice. You will perceive the fragrance and you will enjoy it. If the wind is coming from the kitchen, you can have an idea of what is being cooked in that kitchen. The smell of the wind depends on the direction that it has passed through before reaching where you are. That is the same way with our children. The children are colorless, they are tasteless, and they are odorless. It is when they pass through us that they pick up the smell that they have. It's when they pass through us that they pick up the character that they adopt. Whether we like it or we don't like it, whether a child was born in the time of computer or not, there are certain characters about us that these children will carry over from us. And I want us to take note of this and take it very seriously. They carry sweet aroma of savory food. And that's the way they bear the, the, the stench of putrid carcass. It depends on who they pass through. Teba Romo, God don't shed that a case and will be. Tia Bari, one lot and will be. A one lot and one will be to be and will be tia. Bomo by Joe. No by Joe should go to Abby. Asha Joki Jipa. A Jane Lacey. Sherry, I know be Ibrahim. devotion in the mosque Langwe ni itikaf. Uwa ni alati antum laha aakifu. Kilo de ten yin she itikaf. Fam wo sha wo yi. Kolu wa jak na abaa na laha bide. They say, I want to abaa 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 yin she nba yi baba ati wani yin. O ni la kodi kuntum antum wa abaa okun fi dola li mubin. O da kwenye atam baba yin eh 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 get ye o. Ah eh get ye kwa kwa. I want baba yin ye. I want this kam yin gom. I want this kam yin. I want this kam yin. I want this in Tafe Fazan Ben, we share your own Babatier, won't devote one few by year, one fifty Oshani. Umbatanami Brian would don't know how to be Islam, to be that day. And if you go by yet, you know, no official Islam. Hiarukum Filijailia, Hiarukum Fil Islam, he not a any to Danui, Nino Jailia, no new Dani in Islam. And to ni ba ya mo kan to danu yin na no tun da ngba ti ti mo ba de don iyen lo fi je pe ke yan fi tara tara se si yen anabi ibrahim o jogun e lodo baba ti e ni baba ti e se bo amu un si lohun be ni o mo jora won ta ba be lo wa nsi te ba ro mo kon te ri to nse bakun bakun e wo dada awon o lawon kan kan to gba lara awon obi e bi o ba jo bi awon obi to dan obi ti e o ni kan ti o ba lara won e je ka ki si yen na dada ka le ba ri awon mo sin ka le ba ri won wo ki kaluku wo itun ara re bo lati nbo ni family wa awon to pe family won ele gun ni won e gun won se family won ngba do na gba islam to dada se pe yo mo wo jala baba ko ni lara on fit e si lohun ni awon won fit won se in ta won fe se nbe abi oro mi o ye wa die die en to se pe oni fa ni won family won ngba to ran ba di afadan yo mo mo bo no si won se ra re si 
kini ye o man je mora won awala ki kon ki si and i want us to think deeply about somebody once asked that what if we go generations and generations before us that is who is your father and then who is your father's father what is his name many of us cannot go beyond two or three who is your father who is your father's father who is your father's father's father what was his name what did he do how many of us can go far back to five to six to ten do you know why we cannot go far back because we never took it serious they are never bothered about it and for a person to understand the journey of life you have to understand who your parents were who your ancestors were so that whatever was good about them you extricate it you extract it and you adapt it and whatever was bad about them you throw it away and you keep away from it many of the children in drug addiction today if you trace their lineage there was one rascal in their in, in his forefathers lineage that was doing drug in their own time if you <laughs> yeah imam Tebaro <laughs> That's why we have to be as serious and serious about this lineage of ours. Should I tell you another example? Let me tell you this one. You remember Anabi Musa, alayhi salatu wa salam? His mother, Allah, one of the VIP women in the Quran. Allah really honored her. Allah didn't even tell us her name. Allah called her Ummu Musa. Musa's mother. Out of respect for that woman. All Metella says, I revealed to the mother of Musa that she should carry Musa and put in a box and set her on the river so that the river can carry her away. Allah used the word, I revealed to the mother of Musa without sending any, pro any angel to her. Allah spoke to her directly. It is from her mother that she got this propensity of Allah speaking to him also directly. You didn't hear that Allah sent angel to Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. Allah was always talking to him directly. There's a place that was coming from. This gift passed through his mother. Sh should I tell you another one? You remember Anabi Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam. When Mus Yusuf saw when Yusuf saw in his dream, he said, Oh, my father, in our uh, uh, in our in in Ahada Ashara Kaukab and was Shams or Alkoma Roetum Lee Sajid Kagen Kukuru. He said, My father, I saw the sun and the moon and the stars bowing down for me. And the father said, Ya Bunaya, oh, my son, La took Susu Yakala Ikhwatik, Fire Kidu Laka Kaida. Don't relay this dream to your brothers, even though they will plot against you. Now, this gift of dreaming didn't start from Yusuf. If you go back to his own father, Yaqub, Yaqub was a dreamer. That was why Yusuf consulted him and said, interpret this dream for me, my father. Because the father happened to be a dreamer. That was Yaqub. From Yaqub, you trace it to Ishak. From Ishak, you trace it back to Ibrahim. When Ibrahim said to Ismail, he said, my son, inni aro fili manami anni azbahuka fangdur mazataro. I saw in my dream that I'm supposed to slaughter you. What do you think about it? That gift of dreaming and Allah sending messages to them through dream, it ran through in that family. Generation, generation, and generation. My challenge to all of us parents now is that you should begin to trace your own family. Ah, Masha. 
It just gave me the good news that, that we can speak more. Me, I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> if, you, if, if you are tired, you can just do it like this. Uh, if you are tired, I just... Uh, 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 then I will know it's time to stop. Are you following what I'm saying? That gift, of, that lineage of their family, I didn't say he sent angels to them. Allah revealed things to them through dreams. That kunkini team family to you. I become a nobi. Oh, couldn't everybody talk bulu don't know your way? Eh, would I da grandfather? A big great grandfather. And got there, she been doing it. Only your compe, oh, man, look what you are. Lost study, kidney, and I don't know, bury low yard. Kini yawi, yani, ah, all I could have wanted to cool it, beat it, do our non yen. Bojan, do our non yen, but do I lie? Ah, oh, yes, yes, you knew. Was you, oh, Burugan? Oh, come on, yen. Oh, Burugan. A young being a dirty lock on me, a man, she was it, ada. I won't go to walk by long, but I went on movie bay in all. Uncle Man Shomogo, Shamotum, I won't show more. And you are filing away. I'm a filing away. Suhana Galahuma. All the man Shomogo. Mobabe, lower the money, kill him on Baba or Corey. Ah, only I wouldn't buy it. She has seen see. Money or Mameloni, Baba or Corey be. Ah, one of all, one to thirty five. 35. Yahoo Melo. Ah, all on don't bara one lay one dinner made job. Yahoo made Johnny one. Bring back don't fair one in lay and go back. I want Yahoo made Joshua. I want Yoko Dabia and one Yoko going a talk. A bam won't come, a bam won't come, I won't come to a Wally Rara. Monica, I fed your call as you see. Eh, in tea, I want Baba, I say, oh, not here, I only yet. I only want my baby, but I'm for you. Baby, you start sitting. You man, just a lot of one. Ah, he he, don't let him on. You know, Jaloa, Muhammad Rasulullah, yeah, Imam, yeah, Imam. Who want to hear what did I do? I want Raskar. Don't you want to grandfather Raskar? He want you to affect you. You want to cause your lonely life, okay? Do a basic cause your lonely. I don't want no more money. Oh my God! 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 Oh my be watchful of your sons so that people will not introduce them to smoking too. That's what I'm trying to say. Your great grandfather, your great grandfather, they had uh, eology for him. I want to be a roti web, you do. I want to be a grandfather, and you can want to be a roti web, you do. Oh, no, I'm going to be a kid. 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 That's exactly how it is. And I pray Almighty Allah will give us the wisdom to be able to see through all of these things and to understand that we can use one thing to guide another thing. And I want you to look at those people from royal family. They are the ones who can tell their history 20 generations backwards. They are very conscious. They are very conscious of it. They are very assiduous about it, and they are very serious about it. They know that your great-great-grandfather was the uh, oba of one particular place. After him came this one. After him came this one. The king will say, me, your father, that's the king now. You are going to be the king after me. And you see the way they will be treating that child. If he wants to do something, no, 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 no. A, a prince shouldn't behave like that. If it's a girl... If she wants to go to a party, or they say, no, 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 a princess doesn't do that. I was very lucky and fortunate to have had some of them from royal families as my friends. There was one, sorry I'm taking our time, we are just gisting. There was one like that, in Zaria those days. I don't know whether uh, Elijah Kazan will remember him. Abdurrahman Aboki, we were in Suleiman Hall that time. 
whenever we went to go and eat two in Samaru, I realized that after the two, we would drink kunu. Then, by the time we drank the kunu, before we get back to the hostel, this is where our cup would be. And we'll put our cup like this. We'll not be gisting, we'll be chatting, we'll be laughing. Then we branch where they sell uh, sugar cane. This very long one. We'll say they should not cut it into pieces. As long as it, that's how we'll be like that. We'll be doing that, we'll be talking, we'll be cracking jokes. But Abraman Aboki, he will only smile. He will not laugh like us. His own sugar cane, he will wait, he will tend to cut it into small, small bits. He will carry it in the bag like this. He will not eat his own until he gets back to the hostel. After a while, I started feeling on court. Uh, Malabraman, why do you do this now? He said, ah, we were not brought up to eat in the street. I was so ashamed of myself that day. Una, <laughs> in the street. He said, we were, not, we were not trained to eat in the street. I said, but there was nothing there now. Nah. It was night and it's wee wee. He said, no, what if somebody greets me? How will I answer with something in my mouth? And from then, I began studying them and monitoring them. To the extent that even when we two started having children, I would say, ah, 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 ah. Omar, eh, eh, you are Ustaz's child. You shouldn't be eating in the street. How many of you have ever seen our Sultan? Sultan, this same Sultan. How many of you have ever seen him eat in public? Who has ever? Somebody who will even cover his mouth in the first place with his turban. Because they had the way they were brought up. Even if you are not from royal family, let your children behave like princes and princesses. Let them know that, look, a princess doesn't dress anyhow. A princess doesn't talk anyhow. A prince is supposed to be learned and knowledgeable. A prince will not be playing anyhow like other children. Let them inhibit, let them exhibit such attitudes and characters. When you plant this into their heads, they will grow up to understand that no matter what science and technology and the internet becomes, they will not forget that I'm a king in, in the making. I'm a, I'm a queen in the making. And there are certain things I will not post on my Facebook. Because in future, the internet doesn't forget. People will refer to the things I posted. And they will use it to judge me. If we can use this strategy for our children, possibly. Possibly. I remember we did it to an extent. One of my children was asking, Daddy, was your father a king? I said, no. Ah, Baba Salami he was not a king. But he was somebody who was worthy more than a king. He had the honor and respect that was more than that of a king. Even kings were respecting him. I, I, I told them that. They said, hey, but the idea of me, we thought, no, no. I said, maybe somewhere along the line. That was when I knew that I didn't know more than three or four of my own generation. I said, maybe somewhere along the line, they were kings of that sort you are thinking about. But we got some of the qualities of kings from them. And that's why we are how we are now. Because we are But you know, some of these things are just natural. That is the only way we know. That's the only thing we did. I'm not saying this because I want to talk about myself. You notice I hardly talk about myself. But we are a family now. We can always discuss things between us. Yes, and I remember that some of our children, they will get gifts in school, best behaved. All of these things, I don't know what I believe. That it is not our making. There are some people in the lineage of our families that had the ability and the behaviors of kings and, and queens. I want to challenge all of us parents, even if you don't know any of your parents that were kings and queens, I want you to begin to inhibit and exhibit such exhibition, I mean, such behaviors and characters now. 
eje ka tun iwa wa se eje ka wa na o ka ka tun shop die e se ma ra won alako we yen to ma nse ko won leto 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 eh eni ti a pe ni ori ade ko ni ma pariwo eyan mi lo le ri ti aro nobility ki ron pe nobility yo ba no bibire omo lu abi ta aro omo lu abi mo to wa na yawe omo obirin re melo to ti le re wa to ti lo la wa melo le ri tin bu oko e abi to ko ati o tun wa ma pari mo ra won ko n saba wo po be amo ngba ta de city ton ta de gboro ton ati gbagbe bi ton ti bi wa ati gbagbe pe ntun won mo awon obi wa mo iwa re na mo won mo iyen lu fa te ba ro mo lo rin to ba n se jaku jaku ko bere ton family eni ko mo bi ton ti wa ni mo ko fi lo rin se example ni o eh eh yi ti mo sun won dada ni eh eh yi ti mo e ti o ye mi si dada ni aboro mi o ye wa eh te mo ma se gbo pe olomo lo rin mu gbo ri tele ni ngba gbo gbo e daru na ni imo ni imo la fi mo awon lineage yen imo la fi mo won won de fi mo won fi shafani farai gbogbo nkan wa fi mo family ti e ti o ba da tele e ja yi pada ke o ma wa bi 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 no ki ke o ma wa bi eran ko eh mo ba gbogbo eyan ja eh a ni won fe ro hun a ma ba wo yan yan di a ma shagidi gbogbo wa yen ge ko o se ti yan le fi lomo lowo na Ah ah nkan le le die die n si e je ka fi suru se ka ma fi bi nkan se le to yen ka ma fi wo asira wa a wa okay now ko to di bata ma wa okay yen ka ma ba omo lu abije nkan ta n so fun wa ni tori yi ta ba se nbe a affect awon omo wa a si logun ta le dasi and finally let me mention this aspect to us <laughs> finally finally <laughs> <laughs> finally finally so that we we'll have time for uh, your questions thank you uh, if not oropo uh, onu ikobo eh but let us manage it like that i want to challenge all of us parents because of the children of nowadays i want to challenge us do you know that when some of these children when i say children they claim big ones amongst them if they don't have data on their phone like this they are already depressed ah eh you not even uh, children even we parents if your if the battery of your phone is is 5% like this you are already shivering as if hey eh, me where is my charger you become so destabilized power and you now people will not be uh, please you are me need charger then you will see a grown up, grown up adult you will be going around with power bank ah, because of why if you notice that your life is like that that you cannot survive with your without your phone just for a short while you are going to find it difficult to influence your children positively and this is the challenge now why don't we do phone fasting for some time or for some hours so that the children will learn from us that there's more to life than pressing phone for some people at night if there's no electricity you know we say if there's no light if there's no light like this many of us are disturbed we don't we are even confused we don't know what to do i know one man who reported his wife to me that 9 o'clock in the night there was no fuel, there was no uh, light and there was no fuel the wife asked him to go and look for black market uh, fuel because of what because they cannot survive without light i want to throw this challenge to us at night after he shy why don't we switch off all the tvs and all phones and be looking at each other like this when we were small yeah imam there used to be one elderly woman in the village that would be telling us stories <laughs> there used to be one uncle that would all sit around him like this would we'll be asking him question he be telling us stories Yeah stays by moonlight e se won de tun so di talako we ngba to ya to gbe sori tv they used to be people like that why can't we we don't have anything to tell these children 
Why don't you switch off everything and begin to address these children? Tell them stories, if you must tell them stories. Tell them how you are growing up. Tell them something about your own father. Tell them something about your parents. Tell them something about your village. Teach them something about your village. You'll be shocked that these children will be interested. There are amongst them that will even get viral and start writing down, hey, what did you call the name of that king in your village? This is his name. What did he do? What was he like? One of them will say, Daddy, can you take us to your village to show us that king? They say, no, that king is late. It's the great-grandchildren of that king that's there. Now, we want to see him. These children are brilliant already. They have the brain already. It's only left for us to harness this brain to useful ends. So, at nights like that, if you see that you become destabilized, it means something is wrong. If there's no leper, leper light, let it be. Switch on the rechargeable. Let us con not continue to plug our head into the world that is happening out there, the digital world. Uh, a child will say, I have so, so, so number of followers. I have so, so, and so. Uh, these people cannot follow you in real life now. Let, them, let us make them to be real. And if they must go to the internet and do what their colleagues are doing, let us show them the way to go. Let us guide them to the best of what they should do. Allah says, Yeah, you are Latina man, who you believe. Takullah. Be conscious of Allah. While Tanzu Nafsumma Kodaman the garden, let everybody look towards what is going to push forth for tomorrow. What Takullah and fear Allah again in Allah Khabirun Bima Tamalu. Allah will give you the news of everything you have done. I want to translate this to mean Allah is saying we should be conscious of the kind of children we put forth for tomorrow. Because these same children, if we don't do it with Allah's consciousness, Allah will give us the news of whatever we do or whatever these children have done after us. The news will meet us in the grave. And the news will follow us in the hereafter. When we die, the prophet said, one of the things that will be useful for us is a righteous child that is praying for you. Can these children pray for you? That's another thing. Can these ones, do they even know how to pray? If you want to teach them how to pray for you and your father is not alive, sit them down. All of us, uh, we are going to do tahajjud today. Two rakats. We want to pray for my father. Why do you have to pray for your father? Now, you, it is, I'm a righteous child. I should pray for my father. Do it in their presence. Show them how to do it. But teach them how to do sadaka. Say, this sadaka, we are cooking rice. In takeaway, want to go and share it. It's sadaka for my late parents. Be telling them so that they can be hearing now. When they get used to that, nobody will remind them when you go, when you are no more. They will remember to also do for you also. This is how to live life and to prepare for the hereafter. I want more asset no fuwa. Ono nko mo mo fi won se kewa ni. Won ni ta ba fun yan ni agbo. A ma njule tokun tokun abi. Ono ki njule tokun tokun mo. Tolorun ba fun e lagbo a de okun e mu bayi. Tori o fe monitor ba o lo se se agbo yen si. Awon mo tolorun fun wa Ono ni fi won se adon wo fun wa. Ama omo yen ikelu e kon je fun wa ati sorire na ni yen. Ateni to bi ateni ti obi se bo mo na ni o sin gbogbo wa. Especially if you want to be. I bought a failure. I bought a failure. I eat more than why we are to put to our low to I want principal come what to your body. You bada Tabati leg me on principal. Yes, you won't let me. She wants it that back by Lua. Town more one lane, George Joko by Lua. Or Coloco one be by Aaron Tio. We buy our local about him so Kunshoto. One way I can see me, can see me. One bed, the mobile, one bed far, open to your door, soon, Tony Robert. One bed far, one I want to say, kill or more, really, not to poke on. Kill or more, really, not to poke on. Our corner, not your uncle, I got to go about him, who can get that one kidney or more, kill and funny, kill or more, jail and funny, right? I will be, ah, let me follow what my father used to do. A jacket bear will long cash it out of the way. Oh, my alone, if you want to allow you, alone, if you are about one day. Because 
kolonkun wa si kolon de mi wa si awon mo won ebe si won kikike yen se ri won ton gu alaarin wa ton lo ton boyin ewo ibi agbalagba ba wa lo mo kikike nba iru eleyi to se ri palopun yen o ba ya ne ba ri pe won be se swearing in ceremony iru awon eleyi won da o ma ti di minister e ja lo se swearing in ceremony in soju wa bayi na ni awon ti a ri ton se radara da le ni e lo wo ton awon baba baba won oni ranu gba alopolopo won oni ranu ka fa won ko kon teri tori won pe tori si wa lorun e ninu won e je ka siro e fun omo won yi tori alilaani pe lai kemi wa gun o ali se bi atete ku ka mo tete ku iru awon eleyi awon grand children won o ma le ba wa laye aye ti yi pada gan yi ta ba se fun won nisin na la ba nbe lola ko lo ja pa eto da nbe aqulu qouli hada wa astaghfiru li wa lakum ajma'in wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh Betting has even spoiled the whole thing. Being on TikTok, you have to know why you are there. And what we are looking for, there are good information there. That's why I said we have to teach our children how to learn. But that was betting is a no-go area at all. And this is part of the thing. You remember I said, if Firaun were to come to this world today, he would distribute phone for the children. The next thing Firaun will do is to introduce betting among the young people. Now, in the in the, uh, in counselling. Amongst the addictions that has come up now, betting is one of them. These children are now addicted to betting to the extent that they can do anything. Anywhere you park, they can break your glass, steal something to go and look for money to go and do betting. So it's an addiction. Let everybody keep away from it. Just like many other things can be addictive, if we don't do it in moderation, betting doesn't even come in at all as anything we should do. May Allah protect us and protect our children. Alhamdulillah. Another question says, how will you separate your child from the bad food when you are talking to him and you fail to respond? Uh, well, there is this thing they normally say, that uh, no matter how bad it is, a lion will not eat grass. No matter how hungry a lion is, a lion will not eat grass. If you understand where you are coming from, you know your lineage, and you know the child, like they used to tell us, remember the child of whom you are? <laughs> you remember they normally tell us that one? I didn't remember to say. Remember the child of whom you are? They normally, hey, not your many to wash it. They normally remind us that it's a very important thing. Now, if your child remembers the child of whom he is, no matter the kind of groups around, your child will not join them. Some of us, in the beast of looking for education, looking for Ilekeu here and there, going to learn from one alpha or the other. We lived in places where in the streets there are people smoking their hemp. And uh, Bodaluku, there, there used to be Bodaluku, uh, Bodamonsuru. Those ones, they will be smoking weed in the afternoon like this. And we will be going to Ilekeu, and we will still greet them. The girls on board are, Hey, Afa Kikiri. That's how you do. Hey, Afa Kikiri. That's how you do. <laughs> Astaghfirullah. Hey, small Afa. That's how they used to. They were smoking their hemp, but we never were interested. We were not interested. Our own is to carry our Quran like this. We are going to Islamia. Nothing concerns us. Among those who used to go and play ball together in the field. When it is time for masquerade like ladies, they are the ones that will be wearing this uh, masquerade thing. And when they are being their gra, gra they see that we are following our own affair. Maybe we are going to Osuna, or we are going to where they are doing a uh, wedding. When we are coming back, some of them just come around, hey, Afa, Afa, Murie, Afa, Murie, something like that. So that we will know that, Yakpa, the Lori, Feed, Lola, something like that. So that you, they will know that we are the ones who used to play ball in the field together. We didn't join them. It was not even attractive to us. So there's a limit to which you train your child that none of those things will be a problem for them, inshallah. 
with your effort and your dua and of course your guidance. And uh, there might be no. Let me quickly add that we may not be able to follow our children everywhere, but there's a trick we can use. We can create an environment for them so that we, our mind will be at rest. Any child that's coming to Nasfat here, at least your mind should be at rest. We, are all, we all understand we are all on the same level. This is where your children can come and you are not afraid of anything. Let us create that environment for our children. Because I know many of these people that you see from royal families, including politicians, when they want to have an event or an occasion, they will say strictly by invitation. Because it's their children and their children. They organize birthday party. It is their children and their children. They are doing that deliberately so that they can know each other. And tomorrow when they want to marry, it is amongst themselves. A governor's uh, daughter who married the son of a minister. They already know themselves. They know each other. And any child from royal family, they already made him know that, look, you are going to marry a king or you are going to marry a prince or you are going to marry a queen. They are, they are aware already. When we were small, during Salah, big Salah, they will cut meat, put in tray, and put on the head of the girls. They say, go and share it to all of those families. It is when that girl came around, the girl already knows the places they always ask her to go. And whenever she gets there, there's this young boy that they will ask to go and collect the meat from her. And then the father of the house will say, come, Zainab, uh, uh, how old are you? Uh -huh. uh, take this one. They will give her uh, 50 kobo and say, greet your father for me. Those parents understood what they were doing. As for the boys too, they will tell him to go and bring something from the other house there. Go and tell them that we have received the meat. Uh, go and greet them there that we have received the meat. Go and return their uh, tray. <laughs> go and return it to them. By the time the boy gets there, hey, Kilo got there. What's your name? Uh, Musiliu, Musiliu from uh, Zoso Baba, uh, Baba Telo, Otida. They knew what they were doing. Now, we too should know what we are doing. There's no hide and seek there. If, if you have a very good daughter, be shopping for the good boy now. Let us not forget this thing, Zomiela, forgive us. So that's why when children are mingling, they already have an idea of the kind of people they should mingle with. May Allah make it easy. Allah, Allah. Yes, stop, but you can manage it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When some things have gone for too far, it becomes second nature to that person. But with terbia, I hope you understand, with terbia from young, don't forget, uh -uh, even though the fathers of uh, Anabi Ibrahim, even though they were idol worshippers, now you see how and Abi Ibrahim turned around and became a better person. It is those traits, those characters, those attitudes that you need to modify and turn into a positive way. Do you understand what I'm saying? Let's say, for example, on a very positive note, let's say there's a particular child that loves singing a lot. And you realize that in their great-grand lineage, there were musicians in their family. And these child just have very sweet voice. Why don't you turn it around so that such child will be reciting Quran like this, our, our fathers that are here? Let them use that voice for a very good end. If the words get to the words, they cannot read Quran like this. At least we have people who do what we call Islamic song. No matter how bad it is, they see ad la ilaha illallah to what they are saying. <laughs> no matter how bad it is, you see, see them, they see, say they are Muslims. If they are well well tutored, well guided, well directed, it is possible that they will turn it in a positive way. So we should only look for those characters. For example, a boy that doesn't like to do household chores. He doesn't like touching anything in the kitchen. Well, we say a boy is not supposed to be in the kitchen, but you just want him to have an idea of what they do in the kitchen. So you find out what does he like doing apart from being in that kitchen. 
Maybe he has another direction somewhere, so don't waste his time. The way they wasted all of our times when we were in uh, primary, secondary school. Eh? They said we should be drawing cockroach. And got them we kill cockroach anywhere, anyhow, when we are in the house. They will tell us to start drawing house fly. See how they are wasting our brains. Instead of them to teach us how the farming that our fathers were doing, how to mechanize it and develop it from old age, from young age. We already have our own farmland, like the Fulanis, who already let their 14-year-old have his own, you know, his own animals. They didn't do that for us. They said we should be drawing grasshopper. Ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the young person asking that question. Did I not tell you they are very brilliant, very intelligent children? May Allah give all of them alubarika. I do not know for now how much AI can do that for you. But people do a lot of DNA things. They want to trace your lineage to one person somewhere. But the one I would recommend is that from your father, let your father do part of the jobs for you. Let your father go to the village and start asking the remaining elderly ones. So that at least you can go like two or three backwards. And then from now on, you should make it, in your, uh, make it up in your mind that your own children that are coming, you will always let them know where they are coming from. This is very, you, your parents may, be, may have been very careless about it. But you in your own case, please don't be careless. In fact, start from your father and your immediate grandfather and begin to let it go on with your children and your grandchildren. Before you know it now, you become a parent too. Before you know it, you become a grandmother. So let it go around like that. From your father's side and your mother's side, not only your father's side, your mother's side also. Who was your mother? Who was your mother's mother? Where are they from? Where is their village? How did they grow up? Where did they grow up? And I want to challenge the young people that are listening to me now that of all things else, one of the best things you can do for yourself is for you to be able to trace your origin for you to be able to trace your roots and for you to be proud of it. This one, as far as Islam is concerned, there's nothing wrong about it. It is good for you to know because when uh, which prophet was saying, Mother Tabu no mean body, what are you going to worship after me? Call you Nabu to Abaaka, Ilaaka, why Ila Abaika, Ibrahima, why is Maila, why is Yako, Ilaham why Idan, Wananu Lao Muslim. Thank you, Imams. Even in the Quran, you see a father asking the children, what are you going to be worshipping after I die? He said, we are going to be worshipping your God, the God of your father, your grandfather, your great-grandfather, your great-great-grandfather. And they mention their names. Ilaha and Wahid, and they all, all worship only one God. And we too, we submit ourselves to that God. Please, fathers, let us be doing this from time to time. It's not that we are going to die soon, but use it as it's in the Quran, Ask them, what are you going to be doing? What if I die now? What will you people do? What if I die now? How are you going to finish your school? It may sound somehow, but you are preparing them to know that they have to be serious. A 21-year-old boy that doesn't know how to do anything. If there's nothing he can do, please tell him to be washing your car. You'll be paying him 200 naira. And ask him, if I die now, how will you survive? Maybe this will make them to be serious. I'll be at any moment. Maybe it will make some of them to be serious and they will take life more seriously. Ah, it's true, our father may just go anytime. This is where music is not a big deal. Uh, they will play, uh, that monkey don't play, no, don't you know. Uh, they will play all of those musics and what have you. And uh, some people grow up and they begin to like it too. Some of us are also very lucky. In our own family, it is only Wazi we used to hear. Those days of uh, this big plate. Uh, this black plate. Uh -huh. We used to listen to Alaji Muhyiddin Bello so many years back. In fact, we grew up listening to his lecture. And we see our fathers nodding his head whenever he was talking, nodding his head. Hmm. 
He used to say that. We used to hear that. It is those ones, they were always listening to those things. Any tafsiri like this, we don't miss it. And so we grew up loving to listen to the scholars. We grew up knowing this affair, this affair. When one big imam finishes tafsir and people are going, our father will say, come, come and have a handshake with Afa. They will drag us like this. We will pass through the crowd. Will come and have a handshake. With that small hand, we will feel the hand of those Afa in our hands. And that form all what we know today. Where do you take your own children to? That's my question. And who and who are the ones you expose them to? That's another question. So if you expose them to music, it is possible that it's going to be part of their lives. So this young lady that is speaking now, she knows what she's saying. Parents who are always doing that one, please reduce this more, more. These children are much more intelligent than you can think. If Allah blesses you, please have your own earpiece and listen to your own uh, barista. Listen to your own. Uh, 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 listen to your own thing. But don't. These children, their own life is different. Don't force them to be your own way. I hope you understand what I'm saying. May Allah bless this girl that is asking this. But nevertheless, take it easy. Don't go and be telling your parents they are doing haram. Don't go and be abusing them that they are ignorant. Respect to parents is also very important. So that your own children will respect you too. Now, shake. That in the Quran, Allah says, Is it true that the generation that calls is really Islamic? Or do family members suffer the sin committed by their own father in time with the previous ayah of the Quran that nobody shall die the body of another person? This is a very difficult question for me to answer. But let me answer it in a simple way. You see that ayah, wala taziru waziru otunguziru ukuro. Nobody will bear the burden of another person. It is in the hereafter Allah is talking about. Oh. And when Allah says nobody will carry the burden or carry the sin of another person, Allah is talking about that with regards to the day of judgment. But in this world, people carry it very well. The concept of generational curse is real. I remember now, Anabi Musa Salam, when he went to the mountains and he came back and he met the Bani Israel worshipping idols. Remember, he dragged the uh, beards and the hair of his brother Harun. That was a Yabuna Umma. Oh, my mother's son. Don't pull my beards and my, and my hair on my head. Okay, if you say I shouldn't pull it, why did you do what you did? He said, I did it so that you will not come back and meet that they have all scattered. That's why I allowed them to do what they were doing, so that when you come, as you have come now, you'll be able to settle whatever is between them. And he was, he was whispering to Musa, my, my, my mother's son, don't let's do this in public now. Let's go somewhere. I don't want them to see. Well, to Schmidt be an Ada. Don't let the enemies laugh at us that we have brothers and we are fighting. That's not where I'm going. Where I'm going is where Musa now asked, okay, who was responsible for this? They said it is Samiri. He said, Samiri, come. Why did you do this? He said, I saw what he didn't see. I know what he did not know. And I used the footstep of an angel. I added it to this idol and it began to breathe and behave like this. So the children of Israel, the children of Israel began to worship it. So Akazali Kasawala Li Nafsi said, That is what my mind told me to do. Did Musa say, Okay, don't do it next time? Musa cursed him. Musa cursed him that anywhere you get to, you will always say, La Misasa, because you will never be a human, you will never be a human or animal. And Musa said, This is how you will remain to the day of judgment. Allah gave some people the power to curse, don't cross their path. If your great great grandparents have passed, they have crossed the path of some people and they have been cursed, wallahi, it will continue. Should I say it again? It will take extra prayer 
extra mercy of Almighty Allah before you can wash it off yourself and your children. Go and speak to the, the ulama. They will tell you that this thing is real. Some people are enjoying benefits today. It's not because they are hardworking. Five generations ago, their parents have already worked for it and prayed. Remember Anab Ibrahim. And then Ibrahim said, Oh Allah, do this thing for me now. And he kept on and on. He said, Oh Allah, we've been through reality. Allah, Allah, and call Allah and Allah had his Those who are wrongdoers amongst them, this prayer will not work for them. Ibrahim was asking things from Allah. He is also praying for his generations to come. Okay, why won't Allah bring someone like Muhammad from generations of Ibrahim? So let us be very, very careful about this. The generation, generational cause and the generational blessing. We should ensure that we don't incur curse for our children. Let's not do what is wrong. Anybody bring your rope? You jembe or more jembe. Why jem one robi mule? Don't do how long? Lie a mood of via a lie. A woozoo be like. Hello, me, she shall be. Sorry, my brother. Hello, me, she shall be the big way. Tia shall turn back, Kyle, be more, he shall be teaching by. I shall not support a woozoo be like. A shoe, a shoe, a shoe. She turned on a woozoo be like. If you go little by, if you can't battle so many get you there. Hello, me, shake this day before we take a bar. You see, my boy, I'm on your shake way. You want to cover by. You can't do bad, no, hello, me, say you go and get here. And to buy a day rule, you talk. To buy, to buy, fancy, what you are talking about more now. I want a blue tie, hello, me, to share room, bomb, or me, Jancy. Come on, go, she do, and oh, wow, I need she show. I'm going to go and 30 years old. Oh no, I'm going to go and I'm succeed in anything. Don't share it. I'm going Anyway, to buy one day, I'm going to go and I'm going to go and buy it. I'm to go and buy it. I'm I want to go and share it with my family. I'm going to share it with my family. And I'm going to go and buy it. I'm on va couper du chef on y a un boy en écoute Dieu boy en béni ou boy a y a un on a ti bon fond ni ou on a tout bien chez mère ni mère on s'y bat y a un on va bien pour ouais vous si j'ose encore alors nous voulons couper y a l'on coupe on oh coupe on on le bat diari on dit on coupe on y a ni chez on va couper alors coupe on bande maman il me coupe on chez mi l'homme bah oui mais tout est tout est pour nous on mige bon on va tout on a tout alors j'ai bien mis au mari ni Bo bo to ba shi laye o liro wo re kojo. Afi to ba wo yen fun mi loku. O ni ngba yen wo mo. O mo ba ti do ba le ko mo yi. O no ba ni eh mo di ko fun jare lo ngba ko nbe. O ni le lati gba na wo stars. O ni mo sala shi lo mu sun sin. Ko ra won ti le un ko ni bi to un gbe. E ye wa nko. Iya to gbo mo e se pe. Kini yen sise o the generational cause please take it serious. If you can feel it and you think you have it, go to the scholars. If it is Rukia, if it is Yada few, anyone they will do for you, they will pray so that Allah can remove it for you. Most of the time, it is even gradual. Don't even be in a hurry. Just chill and relax. Go and be uh, receiving surah to on your head every week until when Allah removes the whole thing completely. May Allah forgive us and forgive all of those our parents too. And Allah, please have mercy on us. So nobody will bear the body of another person is in the day of judgment, only in this world. One call your moral guy now. That is my wallet message. Alhamdulillah. In this world, we want to go.